What's next for Litecoin and Bitcoin? What's up guys, Crypto Savvy here. I hope everyone's having a great Easter. I wanna take a look at Litecoin and then I'm gonna take a look at Bitcoin. And then we're gonna take a look at the Bitcoin versus gold chart in the end as always um, and see where we're at on that. Also, stick around to the end because we're gonna be picking a winner, picking a random comment to get a winner for the t-shirt. And uh, when I announce the winner, get a hold of me and you can pick the t-shirt of your choice. Um, also, I want to remind you guys that I'm still going to do the contest again next week. So start by leaving your comments today for the chance to win next week. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, time to get into the charts. One, two, three, go. All right, guys, as always, I want to start out by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion and my view of the market only. Anybody that's doing any trading or investing in this market, I suggest you do your own due diligence and your own research as this market is extremely volatile and risky. Also, don't forget that this is still a speculative market. Don't put in more than you're willing to lose. And uh, with that being said, if you're new here or you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand side of the screen to get you subscribed to the channel. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos, which I do every day. Also, don't forget to leave your comments down below and smash those likes, guys. It really helps the channel out. I appreciate it more than you know. So let's get into the charts here. Um, looking at Litecoin on the daily. Also, don't forget to share the videos to, if you belong to any social media group. So looking at Litecoin as this is a possible cup and we're forming a handle. And if we take a measured move off of that, that would get us up to the one the 179 dollar range um but obviously first we have to confirm that this is a cup and a handle and then we have to confirm a break of the hundred dollar area so let's go into the rsi now real quick i'm gonna zip through this as fast as possible guys so <clears throat> looking at this rising channel here as you can see, we have a little more room to fall. And we're going to take a look at the four hour now. And then we're going to move into the price and see where it's at. Like I said, I'm going to kind of zip through this. And if you guys can see here, I have this longer term. Well, let me zoom in so you can see it. I have this longer term wedge pattern drawn in here, as you can see. And then I have this the yellow lines of this wedge we're forming now. I do believe we drop down to this area before getting our bounce up. And now we're gonna take a look at the possible targets real quick. And as you can see, I had this $75 uh, range target, which we've hit, but I do believe we're gonna drop lower still. I believe we're gonna get around this 67 to $68 range. And then, you know, we may crawl along this, this old channel here and pop up from there. But if not, we have to look at the possibility of dropping below too. And if we drop out of this channel, the measured width of this channel is brings us down to the $53 range. And the next target I have would be a measured move of this falling channel here. Um, but again, guys, I'm bullish. I just do want to take a look at the possibilities of this. And if we were to drop below the $66 range, then the next target would be obviously the 5351 if we take the measure move off this channel then we could go as low as 47 dollars so definitely keep that in mind guys watch those lower lower areas on both of these channels now i'm going to zoom in and go look at the higher targets which i believe are more possible so i don't know why this is all jaggedy today but like i said i'm trying to make this video quick so Looking at the rising channel here, um, if we do a measured move, if we were to break out, I did move this target up to the $85 range because I do believe after we pop down here, we'll be continuing up and it might be a swift move up or a swift move down. So keep an eye on that, but I do believe we continue up from, from down here around the $67, $68 range, if not here. So the next target breaking up out of this, the measured move of the channel would be 104. Then I have a higher target over here at measuring this as a bull bull flag, measuring the flag pull, and we put it to where we would break out. 
that gets me up to the 124 to 125 dollar range guys so that's what we're looking at at litecoin let's quickly go over to bitcoin same thing looking at this as a possible cup handle forming and if we were to break out and this formation does take place and we get a breakout of the $5,500 range. <clears throat> My target's around the $6,850 range, guys. And I do believe if we get up to the $7,850 or I'm sorry, $7,850 range, if we do get up there, I believe this may act as support there. Worst case scenario, um, I don't see us going lower than $4,440, $4, 40, guys. That's that's the, my that's my opinion um we de i definitely believe the bottom's in in both bitcoin and litecoin and i don't believe you'll ever see lower than 44 44 40 again um and again that's my opinion but i i just don't see it guys i don't think it's gonna happen so if you're waiting for them lower lows good luck to you anyways let's go into the rsi now as you can see, I have this rising channel in here, which we have room to touch down. I'll zoom in so you guys can see that. Still have room to touch down, and that's where I get my targets. I'm going to show you here in a minute. And we'll look at the four hour real quick and see what that's looking like. And the same thing. I have this rising channel drawn in the yellow. And then if you see here, I got this wedge pattern using the top, using this white line. But I do see us possibly dropping down here and continuing up from there. So we're going to take a look at the price action and look at what my targets are, guys. First, we're going to take a look at the bearish scenario, which I believe is less likely. Um, but we do have to take a look at it just to be prepared. And then I'll show you what I believe is going to happen, which is the bullish scenario. So <clears throat> I had this rising wedge drawn here, this little one here, which we've broken out of. If you guys belong to my Discord, um, you know, I was I was making notes on that and telling you when we broke through that wedge that we would go up and test the, the bottom of that wedge again right here and then, you know, continue down from there. So I do still have my target around the 50-50 range, maybe a little bit higher now. Um, I would probably move it up just a little bit now and make it around the 50-65, somewhere in that area. Um, to touch the bottom of this this rising channel here that I have in white. But if we were to break down um, from from here, my, my target is 4,600, guys. And that's if we break below the 5,000 range. Now, there is also a deeper target there, which I explained earlier, the 4,440. 4, and that is the measured move of this channel right here this rising channel if we measure the measured move off that if we were to break down that gets me to the 4440 area which would also get us around the top of this old rising channel guys so that is the worst case scenario in my opinion now what i do believe is going to happen is that we're going to come back come down here test the bottom of this and get a bounce and continue up from there um to the top of this channel somewhere in the 5700 to 5750 range and then the measured move if we were to break out of this channel is right there around the 6400 dollars range which would also line up with this long-term trend line i have drawn here so the next target i have if we're to break out of the top of that channel is measuring this as the bull the flagpole and this as a bull flag and the breakout would bring us up to right in the 6900 uh 6950 range guys that's that's my targets for bitcoin right now so let's get into the bitcoin versus gold chart and i do believe we're going to see it play out pretty much the same here guys um i know a lot of people don't think it's possible but i'm i'm getting more and con more convinced by the day that this is what we're going to see as you can see i drew the peaks off the top of this this is gold and this is over obviously a lot longer period of time 20 some years but bitcoin is a hell of a lot quicker and we have social media now the internet and everything else and people are getting more involved um, on every level so right here in 2003 
the gold ETF was approved. And, you know, then we got this huge rise up. I, like I said, this is over a couple of years. I don't believe it'll take that long in Bitcoin. Actually, this is over about a 10 year period. So I'm looking at maybe a year to two years in Bitcoin for something like that. Um, also, we never had the big capitulation. Also, this off, looks an awful lot like what they consider to be a hyperwave, quote unquote. I don't believe in the hyperwave. I think it's a bunch of bullshit. But anyways, sorry about the language, guys. Um, but anyways, as you can see, the resemblance from um, Bitcoin to gold here. Now I'm going to take a look at what's going on. I have the resistance lines drawn from each peak here. Also, guys, stick around because we're going to look at the RSI, and that's extremely interesting too. But as you can see, and I've showed in here before, um, you guys that have been watching my videos know, you know, each time we tested one of these lines, I drew off the peak from each one of those peaks to where we broke down at the 6,000 range. Each one acted as resistance, and then we broke through it, acted as re support, resistance, resistance, resistance. We broke through this one. This is the only one that we didn't come back down and retest in a daily candle. Um, so in worst case scenario, you know that I, I just don't see that happen. And we have a golden cross about to happen, which we may have our dip down to the 4,600 maybe. But I do believe that this line would hold worst case scenario. At this point, uh, 4,900 would be the area to watch. But if we do break above this, last of the resistance line off the peak resistance lines off of the peak and that's around the 4250 and this is on bitstamp so depending on what you're charting on but once we break through there i believe we'll come back down to test it for support and then guys i believe we may be off to the races after that so keep an eye on that i'm going to go into the rsi now we're going to look at the weekly um, for those of you that haven't seen it, don't forget to share the video, guys, if you belong to any social media groups. It really helps me out. It helps the channel grow, and I really appreciate everyone that's been subscribing and liking, commenting. It, it helps ex it helps the channel out extremely, so I really appreciate it. Anyways, looking at the old bull run in 2013, I drew this trend line down where we had one, two tests that got resisted, broke through, never looked back. Same thing in 2017 bull run, drew the trend line. One resistance, two resistance, broke through. Never looked back in my opinion. So anyways, um, let's look at the monthly. And I've showed you guys this before too. You can see I have these arcs drawn here from the 2013 bull run and this one from the 2017 bull run. And then looking at the bear market, each one of these arrows represents a low in the RSI. We had four lows there before continuing up. I did the same thing in 2017, four lows before continuing up. Now I do believe this one will play out a little bit quicker. And I know people take, say the cycles are taking longer and longer, but that's not what I'm seeing here, guys. Um, I am pretty confident that this is going to be a quicker bull run than we've seen in the past so and and everybody comparing that 2013 and 14 um to now i i don't agree with it it's it's just it's ludicrous so anyways um but yeah i do believe we'll come back you know come back and test over here once we touch this one more time i believe we start our the real bull run guys and i believe the catalyst to that bull run is going to be either ETF approval backed or, you know, Lightning Network gets gets really accepted or, you know, a lot of things could happen. But I do believe all them people waiting on the lower lows, those ridiculous lows of 1,200 and 1,800 or, or whatever, um, you are going to be the ones that help us with this bull run when you guys all FOMO in after the sixty five or $7,000 range, 6500 or 7000 so... I appreciate it if you're waiting for those lower lows. Anyways, I know that's kind of bold statement, but I truly believe it, guys. So you heard it here first. And anyways, I want to get into the T-shirt now. Let's see who will pick a random comment. I'm going to pick the most viewed video from last week, which would be a massive bull run could be lurking video. So let's take the... 
copy the link address and we'll put it over in the right random comment picker and let's see who wins the t-shirt load the comments and pick a winner we'll probably have to go through yeah i was gonna say we probably have to go through mine because i try to comment on everybody's um this looks like a i believe that's the user so get a hold of me and i will see which t-shirt you want and get it over to you so with that being said everybody i appreciate everybody watching the video and again happy easter it, and don't forget to subscribe by clicking the crypto savvy logo above my head if you haven't already tick the notification bell to get you notified when i post new videos smash those likes guys smash them and leave your comments down below let me know what you think also leave a comment to get entered to win next week's t-shirt thanks guys for watching and peace out i will see you tomorrow